Hi, and welcome back. This is your everything Microsoft Cloud Architect, Rob Thomas. And today we're gonna to walk through how to create users and groups in Microsoft Intra ID, which was formerly known as Azure Active Directory. Now, managing users and access is the key to keeping your environment organized and secure. Now, before we jump in, I wanna give a shout out to our a sponsor and that is our software dudes which is our enterprise software solution now, these guys are great when you're looking to purchase any azure microsoft 365 dynamics copilot windows server sql server any other microsoft products and also some cisco and adobe products i highly recommend reaching out to them you can see they have a great good uh uh, uh, uh trusted clients and I am also one of them, love these guys, really great. Highly recommend you reach out to them. Now, without further ado, let's jump into intra group, creating groups and users. Now, before we get started, the first thing I do wanna cover is actually logging into Microsoft um, Intra. And to get there, I'm gonna show you the way through Office 365. There's another way where you actually come in here and put um, portal.azure.com, and then you click on the link and it'll get you there. But I'm just, I'm not gonna show you that way, I'm gonna show you this way, and make an assumption you guys are already um, Office 365 users, right? So you'll log into your Office 365, you can see here, put in my username and password. Then I'm gonna click, you're gonna click on the waffle. You go to the waffle and then you're gonna click on the admin feature right here. That admin will take you to the admin center. And then there, it's not gonna show all every time you log in, but there's gonna like a little button like show all. You click that, it'll show you all of this because you're trying to get to this identity feature, right? And I'm gonna see, I pinned it. So if I right click and open in another tab, it's gonna take me here and voila, we are ready to go. And you can see I was in here playing around with groups. Um, so what you wanna do is click on overview, right? And what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a group and uh, the very first group, and I'm gonna click out of this because little don't wanna type these things in. So I'm gonna give the group name web development admin. So let me grab that real quick, jump back in over here and it's taking a little long. So excuse me. Right, so my overview is just a little longer than usual. All right, so now that I'm here, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you, there's two ways. You can one, come in here, you can add users, delete users, you know, user settings and groups. You get same thing, groups, all groups, delete gr groups, and then group settings, right? So you can do it here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in the overview, a little bit more easier. So I'm gonna collapse these. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna create a group. I'm gonna create these kind of quick. Um, and then you can see here, this is the service type and service groups are used to give group members access to applications, resources, and assigned groups. And then Microsoft 365 groups are used for collaboration, giving members access to a shared mailbox, calendar file, SharePoint site, and so on. So you can see there's two types of group types, security, Microsoft 365, you can see that. Today we're gonna do security, right? Let me give it a group name of this. Right, and I'm gonna give it a group description. So we're gonna go back here. I'm just gonna grab that. I don't wanna type it in. I'm gonna paste my group, de group description. And now you're gonna have what is called a membership type. Now select dynamics or assign membership types for your group. And this is pretty much your um, the membership type for your group. And 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 basically, you know, if I click on here, uh, membership type is basically going to be. Um, assigned is you know for free if it's not free it you it will be ungraded and you can collect dynamics if you were paying for as i mentioned any of these other plans p1 p2 interest suite and so forth i'm glad I, I kept that up all right so now um you can have an owner for this group and members for the group so let's click create and quickly spin up that group right and again right that group's gonna get spun up I can go in here, type web, and then voila, I'm just gonna show you this feature, and then boom, you could see the group there, right? If I had the, the creator user, I could do the same thing, see the user or app registration. And I showed you a little bit of the search feature here. Don't put it here, just kind of search across the resource, uh, resources here, but it just makes it easier to do that. So I click that, right, let me just go back, do that again, right? Comes up, I'm gonna go here, and then you're able to see the group. Now the group, I could go in here and just, easily click on members super easy right and i want to create a member and add this group so let me quickly add a member by clicking that right there right and i could just easily 
Um, say if I have, I say I have John, Jane Doe, and I have a member that's um, not here, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, great. So I can add a member once the member's already created. So you can see here, I'm in the group, but I can't find the member. I'm gonna need to go to uh, users, which I can go here, right? But I'm gonna show you another way. I'm gonna go overview right here. And then I'm gonna go to add here and then create users, right? Same thing to do with all users. I can click there and follow that. And this is where I'm gonna put in Bob, right? And then the display name is gonna be Bob Doe. And it's a little bit different because you notice with Intra from Active Directory, like a lot of the things were down here. Now they're put into tabs, giving you more features. So now I need to come in here. Make sure you come here and put the first and last name here because then you have to actually come back and do it again. Make sure he's a member. Um, and then I could put all this other detail information on him. I can also go to assignments and I can assign him to a group to make this super easy. Um, so I could click here and say I created that web. I could just type in web, right? And then boom, there it goes. I could I could just click that and it'll assign him a group. I'm not gonna do it there, but that's one way to do it. And I also assign him a role. So I go here, click and review, let me get out of you, right? And he looks good. Let's create the user. We're just creating a group, which we did, and we're just creating a user. All right, now that's done. I'm gonna go back in here, click web, right? Remember we were here earlier? I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna see where this person's at. So I click on members and if I had signed him, the members um, would have been here and you would you would be able to see him, right? So we don't see him. So we need to add him as a member. So I click add a member, right? And voila, Bob Doe's there. I click select and mem uh, member successfully added. So now if I go to like properties and come back, you're gonna see that um, Bob Doe is a member. Voila, so we did it. So I hope this was helpful, right? I showed you how to create a user. I showed you how to create a member. I showed you how to be, to, to just get used to creating your, your security group. We gave him a name, Bob Doe, right? And we were super successful. We got that working and, and, and that making sense. So with Microsoft Intro ID, this makes it super easy to manage users and permissions. Now, if you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.